The Firebug is the king of trash control, having the ability to wall off small and medium zeds with their fire weapons. So let's look at the Firebug's starting equipment and weapons. The Firebug starts out with the Cock and Burn, the 9mm pistol, the knife, and Molotovs. The Cock and Burn weighs 5 pounds and costs $200. It does 10 damage on direct hit and 5 damage on splash, as well as 10 damage on ground fire. Usually I calculate the weapon's damage per second, but with fire weapons it's a bit difficult to calculate as they also have burn damage. Overall at high levels the Cock and Burn is really strong. It can take care of pretty much all small and medium zeds with no time at all. It's also really cost effective in terms of ammo. The Molotovs can do 60 damage on impact and then additional 10 damage per second while enemies are on fire from it. The Molotovs are one of my favorite grenades in the entire game as it allows you to wall off enemies and keep friends safe by throwing grenades towards them. There's only two real reasons to use the 9mm pistol or the knife with the firebug and that is to either conserve ammo or once you are empty on ammo to switch to them as a last resort. The first weapon that the firebug can afford is a Spitfire. You can buy one or two of these pistols. Each of these pistols costs $325 and weighs 2 pounds each. The Spitfire does 40 damage per shot and then can do an additional 10 damage on residual burn. This does not count towards the ground fire perk though. Overall I would definitely recommend taking two Spitfires over one as two will give you additional shots as well as much more damage per second, more burn chance, and can be reload cancelled much faster than just one of them. Overall I really like the Spitfires, they can take some getting used to as the bullets do have drop and can kind of block your line of sight when firing. But just like the other fire weapons, you can fire them directly at the ground and just start fires and then deal damage to enemies that way. Try to aim for the legs or try to aim for the body to deal additional damage to them as well as the fire damage and light the ground on fire. The next weapon in the firebug's arsenal is the trench gun. The trench gun weighs 5 pounds and costs $650. The trench gun fires 9 pellets, each of which do 27 damage on impact and 25 damage per pellet with fire damage. The trench gun cannot start ground fires easily, but the fire can spread to other enemies and it's easy to hit multiple enemies with pellets, causing them to catch fire as well. Overall, the trench gun is a pretty solid weapon, being the highest damaging weapon in the firebug's arsenal for the time being, but it does suffer from a slow rate of fire and a slow reload. The next weapon in the firebug's arsenal is the flamethrower. Flamethrower weighs 8 pounds and costs $1,100. The flamethrower can do 21 damage on direct impact, 5 splash damage, and 10 damage with ground fire. The flamethrower in my opinion is probably one of if not the best crowd control weapons in the entire game as it allows you to completely wall off small and medium zeds from your team as well as easily push out areas where multiple zeds are flooding in. And then the final weapon in the firebug's arsenal for the moment is the microwave gun. The microwave gun weighs 10 pounds and costs $1,500. With its primary fire, it does 14 damage on direct hit, 10 splash damage, and then 5 damage with ground fires. With its alternative fire, it can do 200 damage. It is important to note that the microwave gun counts both as fire damage and microwave damage towards enemies, except for when using its secondary fire, then it is explosive damage. Overall, I find the microwave gun somewhat underwhelming against most enemies, mostly just using its secondary fire to push out enemies, specifically flesh pounds, as the firebug does not deal well with large enemies. So now that we've looked at the firebug's weapons, let's take a look at their passive perks. The firebug gets perk weapon damage, 0.8% per level up to 20% max, perk weapon reload speed, 1% per level up to 25%, resist zed fire, 30% plus 2% per level up to 80% total, immunity to their own fire, 25% plus 3% per level up to 100% immunity, and starting ammo 10% per 5 levels up to 50% max. Alright, now that we've looked at the weapons and the passive perks, let's take a look at some firebug builds and some loadouts. So the first build is the most common firebug build, and we are going to be discussing each of the perks per level. So at level 5, you have your choice between bring the heat or high capacity fuel tank. Honestly, either of these are really good. Bring the heat gives you bonus damage, but high capacity fuel tanks is also quite useful with its increase in ammo capacity. At level 5, it's really your choice between the two. I tend to lead more towards bring the heat, but high capacity fuel tanks is also really good. At level 10, you have your choice between ground fire and barbecue. 
with the general build, you usually go with ground fire as it provides much more damage per second than barbecue. Barbecue is better against larger enemies that will likely be running around more on fire, but with the fire bug's main purpose being trash control, ground fire just seems more useful. At level 15, you have your choice between Napalm and Zed Shrapnel. Zed Shrapnel may look like a promising perk to take as adding explosive damage seems like it would be really good, but the explosive damage on it is extremely low. Mostly you're using it for all of its effects, giving more stun and stumble. On the other hand, Napalm I find to be much, much better, as it allows your fire to jump from Zed to Zed, allowing you to conserve ammunition, and deal more damage over time. At level 20, you have your choices between Firestorm and Heatwave. Definitely go with Heatwave here. Firestorm only increases the range on a few weapons, namely the flamethrower, the microwave gun, and the cock and burn. It really does not affect the Spitfires or the trench gun whatsoever. Heatwave, however, affects every weapon, as well as just having the ability to knock enemies back makes you even better at holding locations as if anything large tries to stick to you, you can easily push it off of you. And then at level 25, you have your choice between Pyromaniac and Inferno. This is another really tough call, as both of these are very good. Both of these perks allow you to conserve ammo. Pyromaniac allows you to have more damage per second, but Inferno allows you to deal more damage over time, both of which are extremely useful for the Firebug. So it's really your call on these. I tend to lean towards Pyromaniac, but that doesn't mean Inferno is any less effective. Alright, the second build we're going to be talking about is the All Trash Control build. With this build, all you want to do is focus on small and medium things and completely ignore any of the large Zeds. At level 5, you'll take High Capacity Fuel Tanks as it gives you more ammunition in your guns. At 10, you'll pick Ground Fire as it gives you more damage towards smaller enemies. At 15, you'll pick Napalm, as it will allow fire to jump easily between small enemies. At 20, you can pick Firestorm or Heatwave. I would still say Heatwave is more useful, but if you're specifically going to use the Flamethrower and you just want to kill things even faster, maybe Firestorm is a better choice for you. And then at 25, I would say go Inferno, as then you'll do even more damage over time, allowing you to set up flames pretty much wherever you want and kill any of the small and medium Zeds. And then the third build is somewhat of a build made to injure larger Zeds while still being able to control smaller Zeds. At level 5 we'll go bring the heat as it gives you more damage. At level 10 you'll go with barbecue as it gives more damage over time, specifically towards larger Zeds. At 15 you'll go with Zed Shrapnel as the bonuses from Zeds exploding can allow you to stun larger enemies without too much trouble. At level 20 you'll still go Heat Wave as if any large Zeds get on top of you, you can easily push them off. And at 25, you'll go Pyromaniac, as it will allow you to do the most amount of damage per second that you can. Really, with going with any of the Firebug builds, your job is essentially the same. You want to kill all smaller Zeds, control medium Zeds, and just stay as far away from big Zeds as you can, unless the team is being attacked. Then quickly get to them and apply as much firepower as you can towards them. Alright, let's look at some loadouts. Alright, let's look at some firebug loadouts. The first loadout is the most common loadout, going with the flamethrower as your primary weapon to deal with most Zeds, and then either dual spitfires or a trench gun. It's really your call here, depending on which you enjoy using more. The trench gun will give you more damage per shot, the spitfires will give you more damage per second, as well as longer range. And then finishing the build off with a medic pistol. This just allows you to have utility for the team by healing them. The second loadout for the firebug is the microwave gun and the cock and burn. You will use the microwave gun as your primary weapon to deal with most larger zeds, and then use the cock and burn to deal with any of the smaller zeds. And then the third option for the firebug at the moment is going the trench gun, the dual spitfires, and then something either high damage or medic related. Going with the trench gun and the spitfires will allow you to deal with zeds at really any range, and allow you a pretty good amount of ways to deal with them. As well as going with something high damaging like a grenade launcher or C4 will allow you to deal even more damage towards larger Zeds or going with medic weapons to help heal your team more. As of right now there really isn't a whole lot of loadouts for the Firebug. With the new update that's coming out soon they are getting additional weapons which will likely make for better loadouts for them but at the moment I find that just going with flamethrower and then either dual spitfires and a medic pistol or a trench gun and a medic pistol is probably the most effective loadout for them. Alright, so now that we've looked at everything, let's go over some firebug tips. The first tip for firebugs is aim at the feet. 
Don't do this really with the trench gun, but with every other gun it's fine. This allows you to light the ground on fire dealing damage to everything around them, as well as dealing damage to them directly. This is best for walling off enemies, and it's pretty simple for even new players to understand. The second tip for the fire bug is use controlled bursts with your weapon. This is mostly so that you don't waste ammo, and this really applies to the microwave gun, the flamethrower, and the cock and burn. You don't want to be running your ammo out really soon, you just want to be burning a little bit and then letting the fire do its job to deal damage over time and kill enemies. A lot of people just starting immediately just blow as much fire as they can on something until it's dead and then they've wasted half the clip on it. Really all you gotta do is spray one or two little bursts of flame at them and it'll likely kill them. The third tip for Firebug is watch out for your teammates. It is very easy for you to keep small zeds off of your teammates. With nearly any of the firebug weapons, you can easily keep zeds off of your teammates, as fire will cause most zeds to panic. Uh, this is really useful for demos and sharpshooters, as you can throw a molotov at their feet, or just light a fire near them, and pretty much keep away any sort of crawlers or stalkers that wants to get close to them. The fourth tip for firebug is don't attack large zeds. This is pretty straightforward. Keep your flames away from scrakes and to a lesser extent flesh pounds. Fire does not really hurt the big zeds all that much and it's more likely to cause them to panic and rage towards your team which will just give your team an additional problem to deal with. Your job is to keep all the small zeds off of everybody and then let somebody better equipped for dealing with large zeds deal with them, somebody like a demo or a sharpshooter. And then the fifth and final tip is use your molotovs to wall off enemies. You can throw molotovs at your feet even at somewhat lower levels and not deal too much damage to yourself, and you can throw them at the feet of your teammates to keep any small zeds away from them. You don't want to throw them the same way as you would throw some of the other grenades in the game. You want to throw it at much more of an arc so it lands more on top of the area that you're aiming for. Overall, I do like the Firebug. They are extremely useful for getting rid of any small zeds. I do find them extremely underwhelming though when it comes to boss fights or for large zeds, and that's just kind of the nature of their class. I would recommend switching from Firebug to some other class when it becomes the boss round. Having a Firebug on your team is extremely useful though, as they can deal with many small zeds without any trouble and get their full build extremely quick, usually having a flamethrower by about round 3. So overall the Firebug is just like any other class. It definitely has its strengths, it definitely has its weaknesses. Hopefully with a new update coming, it'll get a bit more variety and won't really feel quite the same as it always does. We can only hope. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little guide. Next time we're going to be taking a look at the Gunslinger and I hope to see you there. Until then, stay cool and bye.